For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's find, let's do this problem where you have to determine the force in each member of the truss. As you can see right here at D, we got this force pulling down. If this force is going down, this has to be going up to make up for it, which means this is going down. Now, if this go force is going to the left, this force has to be going to the right, which means this one's going to the left, which makes sense because this can only have a vertical reaction to the left. Now, here at point C, as you can see, this is a straight line. So this is a zero force vector. And this force has to be pulling this way, which means it's pulling that way. Which means that this reaction, it's pulling down. Now, if you look at A, you know this is a zero force vector, so this has to be also a zero force um, member. So this reaction also, a B has to be that way. So these are all the forces now that we have where they're aiming. Let's pick each point, so let's go at D. At D we got the sorry at D we got the 300 pound force going down. We got this force going up and we need to find this angle. Now this angle let's call it phi. Phi is equal to the tangent inverse of 1.5 over 2, which comes out to be 36.9 degrees. So this is phi. So we know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. So you know that dc, because this is dc, sine of phi minus 300 is equal to zero. So when you solve for dc, you get that dc is equal to 500 pounds. And as you can see, it's in tension. Now you know that the sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. So you know that dc cosine of 36.9 degrees minus dA is equal to zero. So when you solve for dA, dA is equal to 400 pounds. And as you can see from the diagram, it's in compression. Now we know that at c, this is C, we got this force over here and we already found DC to be at 500 pounds. So this force is also 500 pounds, there's no other force, which is equal to CB. And as you can see by the diagram is in tension. Tension. So we got this, we got DC, we got this one, and these two are zero force vectors. Final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.